Okay, so I'm gonna start off with uh, for the mobility exercises. Um, you're gonna wanna uh, practice mobility if you're, you know, just an everyday person or if you're participating in any strength training sport, um, any kind of athletics that's gonna put strain on your muscles. Um, if you're a weightlifter, football player, basketball player, really anything, it's very, very essential to stretch. So I'm gonna start off with some of the standing stretches. So starting with upper body, for the triceps, you're gonna reach your hand behind your head. You're gonna grab the elbow and pull. pull, pull. Okay, and you're gonna stretch it out and then go to the other arm, grab the elbow and pull. And this is not only gonna work your tricep, but it's also gonna give you a good stretch in your lats and your obliques and down your sides. Um, and so for the rear delt, my favorite one is to reach over, grab the arm, kind of turn at your hips, keeping your hips square, turn at your trunk, and then let it fall down, go straight to the other arm. Hold it for about 10 seconds, and that's gonna be good for stretching my favorite, the rear delts, and also some of the muscles of your back. And um, so for the next stretch, my favorite um, for stretching out like the um, your forearms, grabbing at the end of your fingers right here, straighten your arm out, and pull the fingers back. It's really gonna stretch out your forearms in case you're doing any kind of you know grip stuff, grip stuff like deadlifts, picking up big heavy weights. Um, you gotta pump up your forearms pretty good. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Okay, so now moving down to your legs. For your hamstrings, a little bit of your butt. You're gonna put your feet about shoulder width apart. Get your fingers all the way out and keeping your knees straight. You're gonna bend and let it hang. Make sure you're keeping those knees straight or slightly bent if you, you know, are not very flexible like me. So reach all the way down to the ground. Grab your toes, hold it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. 1,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. So that's a good stretch for your hamstrings. And another good stretch would be kind of the same thing, but it's more isolating one leg or the other. So you're gonna cross over your feet, right leg over the left first. You don't have to do that, you can do the opposite way. So you're gonna do the same thing, put most of your weight on that left leg and just bend down. Try to touch your toes. One thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. And you're going to see, repeat that same process we just did right over left. So switch, do left over right, bend down, do the same thing. Ten seconds. So another thing, um, standing, you can put your find something to put your foot up on. I know I'm using the bottom of the stairs here, but you can put your foot up here and you're going to reach down put your elbow on your foot or try to reach it towards your foot you're probably not going to be able to do that or at least I can um, <clears throat> reach your elbow down open up those hips one thousand two one thousand three one thousand and then switch to the other leg do the same thing left leg left elbow right leg right elbow so you're gonna reach down, get that good stretch in your hips, a little bit on the inside of your uh, quads. Reach down, you can also grab something like this to help pull down a little bit more. Um, and another thing, still standing up. So you're gonna reach down and right leg in front of the other, or front leg in front of the other, still about shoulder width apart. Bend down, reach your hands all the way back. Switch the elbow. Raise your hands all the way back. And for these, you don't have to stay stationary. Um, one thing we do in our athletics is lunge, reach, gather step, lunge, reach. And we do um, about three or so each leg. Um, and then uh, end it off with a burst, uh, a run. 
which is good for any kind of athletics who are having to run. Um, let's see, another one. So when you're walking, you can do this standing in one spot or walking, but you can stand on one foot, and make sure you keep it balanced, bring your knee up to your chest, and pull, and then sit down. I kind of lost my balance, but then you grab the other leg, reach up, pull, and you can do anywhere, you know, 10 to 20, um, like five each leg, 10 each leg, something like that. Uh, just going straight from one to the other, make sure you're pulling, getting up on that, the foot that you're standing on when you're pulling, get up on that toe um, to allow you to pull the knee up as far as you can, get a good stretch in your butt and your uh, hips. So another thing, um, that you can do to stretch out is you can lean up against something or you don't have to I'm going to so I don't fall over and embarrass myself but you want to grab the ankle with the hand that's the foot side that you're bringing up to your hip so you're going to grab the ankle grab the foot and pull up and when you're walking you can grab it pull same thing get up on that toe same thing as the last one and pull with that leg and then grab the other leg pull there and then you're good to go for your hips. Um, another hip exercise, uh, one of my favorites to do pre-game uh, before really any kind of big squat day, something like that, is uh, hanging on to something like this or, you know, it's better off to use something that you can grab with both hands. But you can grab, put your foot out in front of the other and swing like this. I usually do about 10 each leg, so in and out is one, two, three, and then switch the other leg. One, two, three, and then you can turn, face this way, right leg closest to the finger grabbing, and kick back and up like this, and then swap to the other leg, put it closest to the finger grabbing. Kick up and back. Okay. And um, another great quadricep stretch is you can grab onto it, kind of like the other ones. You can grab onto something or you can do it walking. Um, is to kick that foot up, grab it right at where the ankle meets the foot, the joint, and pull back. And you're going to get that good stretch right here in the front of your quad. And grab the other one. Put your hand out here in front of you to balance. And that's going to be a really good stretch for um, quadricep. I'm going to move this. So, last standing one. Um, it's going to be a stretch for your gastric nemius or your quad. Shout out, Dr. P. You're going to put your foot up on the stair, bottom step. Uh, with your toe up on the step, your heel on the ground. And you can reach up front of you, reach, 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 hold it for about 10 seconds, count your head, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, so on and so forth, and you're going to switch to the other leg, put your toe up on the step, heel on the ground, and then reach as far as you can out in front of you, it's really going to help you with um, stuff like your ankle mobility, uh, your mobility in your hamstrings, because you are reaching out in front of you, getting that good stretch. I just whack this pole, won't happen again. So for just a few uh, seated mobility exercises, you can keep the legs out straight. Um, take a deep breath in. And then exhale on the way down. And reach down, I'm super um, immobile. But reach down, try to touch the toes. Take a break, hold it for about 10 seconds and breathe out as much as you can. It's gonna allow you to get all that air out of your stomach. Reach down a little bit further. One thousand, two, one thousand, three. And then you can reach the leg up to your knee or pull your knee up to your chest, I'm sorry. It's really gonna stretch out that hip and your butt. Switch the other leg, reach up, hold it. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. All the way to 10. Okay. 
And the last one that I'm going to be demonstrating is for your hips again. Um, <clears throat> so you want to bring your heels in. It's called a butterfly stretch. Bring your heels in as tight as you can. Wrap the hands around the toes. And you can either flap them, which I really don't like doing that. Or you can grab it on the top of your feet and push your knees down with your elbows. And it's really going to bust loose and those, bust loose those hips. Get them ready to go. Okay, that's going to be it. Appreciate you. Hope the workout was good.